Hello, welcome back to the weird campsite of mine, but I guess it's practical, so whatever. I played a little bit of camp, and as you can see, I went for this side over here, because all I wanted well was the double jump, extra endurance, and I wanted mason, more damage to rocks, and then I also have the lumberjack, more damage to, to trees, and probably I should get the tool quality. I don't think that's, uh, that uh, is so important, but then I just went over here because it's strength, heavy handed, strength, HP, and then I want to get relentless, and then I want to get heavy specialization, because apparently you have to have a specialization in order for the two handed hammers to really, really work. Otherwise it seems like you don't really have a lot of ways to deal damage. Also I found a level 9 ward, oh wait, oh yeah. So I guess if you upgrade it, it's level 14 now, so level 9 because I cleared the mines. Or the well, this well over here, which is level 9. So I guess I can just go over there and pick up the chest again, and I might get another weapon. But to be honest, well, if the game wants to give me the best cheesing possibility, I cannot refuse it. I guess we'll have to go for the farmer. Well, I guess, yeah, that would be the better option. So let's see where the farmer is. Oh, the farmer is over there, okay. Yeah, I guess I would have preferred to have a better melee weapon, but I, I guess until we get to the two-handed hammer specialization, it will not really matter that much. Otherwise, the game is just a big empty space. I think the idea was for all of the players to build a base and for one player to, you know, get the resources, one player does something else, but that never really turns out as intended, does it? Wow, that's so far away. Well, now I know where I have to go. I guess I should also rest over here. <laughs> Once I was flying in the in this mode and I hit the tree, fell down and died. So yeah, you can die if you fall from a big height. It's pretty annoying since you have to use this to travel all over the place. Oh yeah, something else I noticed over here, let me see, where is it? I also have the runner ability. And yeah, I guess I can take the other ones, the jump attacks and the other stuff, but uh, to be honest, currently it's not really worth it. I've also started to eat honey, so your uh, main abilities will be the water and the honey, and that's how you get a lot more stamina out of it. that art are as well yeah i don't know it seems like the game is meant to be explored like an mmo except it's not an mmo it's a survival game so that's my only problem with the game currently it should be more geared to the open world rpg setting not the exploration mmo there's nothing over there anyway so yeah hmm. If the developers can fix the problem of the world being so empty and big and only the objectives having something of value to you, well, I guess it has a chance. Otherwise, this is the worst walking simulator I've ever played. I mean, yeah, I understand you have to go to certain places, but come on, really? You walk less for 10 minutes. Well, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but if you walk on a new area of the map and you know, know what, yeah, that's a bug. Apparently they spawn five or six wolves at the same time. I don't know why. Oh, they're higher level than I was expecting. This is a weird bug. I had the... I had five archers spawn at the same time. I think the game is thinking I want a bigger challenge or a better challenge, but not really. I just want to complete my mission. Yeah, I, I don't really care about the puzzles anymore because it's very, very obvious that you can just skip puzzles and other content just by going to another area. Oh, come on, I jump. Just getting like you to your gear choices, which can obviously upgrade it as well 
Oh, I thought that was a liver or something. Nope. Okay, so extra speed and extra stamina helps a lot. Yeah, it's another big empty place. I don't care. Oh, come on, really game? Now I don't even see what I have to go. I guess over here and then... Forward. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, okay. Big empty nothing. Also the sweet icon, the sugarcane icon is for the sweet stuff. Of double jump. Yeah, good thing I took the double jump, otherwise, I would have been in trouble in many of these places. This looks and smells like a trap, so I guess this is where your armor having more magical resistance would help. Yeah, they do a lot of damage if they hit you. Mechanic I don't particularly agree with. Oh, I took that in the head. Yeah, I guess the best option would be to just run. The puzzles are really dragging my enjoyment down the drain, so we'll not do the puzzles anymore. I will do them if I find them, if not, it's okay. Doesn't that activate or something? Yeah, by puzzles I mean of course the levers, the pressing of the things. Now what? I can see that I have two more things to open or to find. Yeah, I guess we're going to the left side or the right side. I guess this is not really a puzzle, just have to find the things to activate the door. Yeah, that's a secret door. Oh, see this is a level 7 bow, but I'm not going to use anything that uses up ammunition. The double jump is a lot more useful than I thought, but it kind of is hard to trigger. Most of the times I seem to trigger the glide. Okay, I'm so lost and so confused at all of this. I don't really like doing puzzles that are stupid like this. I mean, not even a puzzle, you just have to find the levers and press them. Might as well be an easier one, why? I have no idea what to do here, I'm completely lost. <clears throat> yeah, this has no no place to be a multiplayer game because if you're playing with friends imagine all of your friends just looking for that stupid lever to press basically holding up progression for the entire playtime session just because you cannot find it
Maybe we can go up there. Oh, okay. I guess this is where we eat up all of our honey supply. Not even worth finding these locations. Yeah, I'm so confused. I don't know what's up with this level design and what's up with this gameplay design. I mean, you enter a temple and you have to find the levers, otherwise you don't have a way to enter the door. But it feels like after you finish a section, you should go into a new section, not get outside the same section. Really? Wait, what? I am so confused. How can you reach this location without a double jump? See, this is what I meant. I guess you have to go through over here. Possible. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so this is the part of the... Well, a lot of people complained about it and I was just reading fragments of it and I remember, hey, I have to take the double jump because some locations are not available to you unless you double jump. Where did I even jump from? Why is that a possibility? I guess it's fun to think about it, but still it's so glitchy. Okay. I guess we just have one more to find and I hope it's up here oh please no more chest suit charges oh, I guess we can leave this place if we want Well, I have no idea where I'm going, but it seems like this is the right place to go. Yeah, the double jump allows you to bypass everything. Yeah, I assume this is just a location that will allow me to go into the middle of the room again. Yeah, the loot is so bad. So, so bad. By the way, you pick up all of the loot and then disassemble them like this. Salvage them. If it's a common item, salvage them. Epic. Well, I guess we can also salvage them. You get a lot of runes which you use to upgrade your other weapons. It in essence does the same thing. Okay, sorry if you don't have the double jump, I guess you're not getting in. Farmer location. We have unlocked the farmer. What does the farmer do? Oh no, don't care. I guess we can throw a bomb at these things, but yeah, I don't feel like doing that. I guess that's it. Probably the idea would be to go to the flame sanctum and the other thing over there, but I don't care. I'll be going to rescue the other guy. Wait, who, I have to, who do I have to rescue next? Oh, the carpenter. That should be easy, right? Okay, let's go there. Yeah, very exciting, right? Just go to the location, travel for 10 minutes, 
wait at the location for 20 minutes to solve the puzzle and then you find the, the person you're looking for and then you just teleport back. Yeah, great, riveting gameplay. 10 out of 10 innovation. <laughs> it's like Starfield. Won the uh, award for being the most innovative game and nobody likes it now. It's kind of weird that Starfield has so many negative reviews these days. I think it's at mixed at best. As people think Bethesda will fix their games or something, I don't know. Some weird traditions people seem to have. Bethesda fixing their games. Uh, Ubisoft not releasing overpriced, overhyped DLC. The uh, CA Creative Assembly not releasing garbage DLC for... I don't know. Seems like people are surprised by some of the design choices. When it's pretty clear what the design choices of today are. I guess I can get some shroud wood. Oh, but such a long area to navigate. I guess I should have went back and got the rested buff, but I'm too lazy for that. Yeah, that would have been a smart thing to do. Eh, next time. You got to be joking me, come on, really? This game is so boring. It's like there is nothing else to play. How? Why did they put a huge river of lava in the middle of the world like that? What's the explanation? The developers looked at the place and thought, oh, there's no lava. Let's put lava in there. Fuck. Fine game, fine. I suppose this is 50% of the game time. You die, you go to another to the location to get your gear, you die again. Yeah, riveting gameplay loop. I hope it's at least at the edge of the lava. But there's no sign of a lava river. That's not how <laughs> how reality works, developers. You don't have a lava river. In plain sight. Yes, you have to suspend all, all belief in reality. So janky and buggy. Siling quarry, it's just another salt mine. But great for ancient times, not so good for me now. What happened? Do they... You cannot see what's in the fog and by the time you see what's in the fog it's too late already. Wow. Really? So my biggest threat in this game is actually the lava? Well, I refuse to admit it but apparently that's... The biggest threat I face in this game is the lava. It's the lava because you don't see it. How can you not see lava in front of you? Man, these developers need to go out, outside and look at how the environment, how nature really looks like. Because they have a very weird way of portraying how nature looks. And this map will have a glowing river. Oh well. Game developers today. They don't know anything. They don't know anything about anything. They just do what they are told, right? It's like they are the perfect soldiers. Someone said, hey, put a river of lava near the misted forest. Doesn't make any sense, but it's cool like that. I know a lot of people will die, but it's funny because they think it's funny when they die to that. Hey, yeah, so this is supposed to be like uh, all of the Souls-like game where people die from falling down instead of dying to enemies. Hey, yeah, it's supposed to be funny. Not really. You cannot see the river of lava, it's so hard to spot in this fog. Oh, 
How do I even do this now? <coughs> I guess you have to terraform to get our gear back. But not gear, materials mostly. Well, that's tricky. Dangerous. I mean, all I care about is the upgrade runes. This is the problem. It's it's going to slide you into the lava pit. I don't agree with design choices like this. I will always oppose stuff like this. It's so stupid to simply go down the lava river. I guess we'll go over here, destroy this thing. Looks like nobody's home. Oh, Drew. So the point of me destroying that was to do what? Uh, oh yeah, what was the point of destroying this? Nothing, it just made things a little better. I cannot see anything, okay. Okay, the game is kind of losing its charm now. Yes, there's too much bloated stuff in the game, items that don't matter, enemies don't need to kill. Home invasions that don't need to happen. <laughs> I like how the attics are done, it's kind of lovely and cozy in here. Yeah, let me use a lockpick to get just some boring items. I think the areas are tiered, so... Well, it would be super helpful if I would know what level the current area is. But I guess... Yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. If I die, that means it's too high level. <laughs> I guess I see why why people like this game so much because it can create great structures, great buildings, but. Do you really want to create that? There's nothing to loot over here, okay, I guess it's below. Nope, it's not below either. You know what, let's just stop wasting our time with that stuff. There might be some treasure chest over there, do we need it? No, not really. Let's focus at the task at hand. Obviously a very well designed trap. I'm not going to try and fly over the lava, that's crazy. Oh, because I died here many times. Oh, I guess this is just a location to mark a bridge. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is here just to mark the bridge. Yeah, don't get distracted by the fancy looking stuff, it's nothing fancy. Also, in case you want to know how strong the wand is, it's super strong. I don't appreciate that at all, I almost died because of that weird combo. that oh, I cannot reach him yeah yeah okay waste of my time waste of my time So I guess that means you cannot play the game as an exclusive melee character because those things will just eat you. For breakfast. Yeah, okay. I'm disappointed. I thought this is a you know choose your style of gameplay, but nope. even going? Is this supposed to be the right way? I guess this is where you're supposed to use the bombs. Ah. Cute, I never noticed that that can grow. Okay, this is ridiculous. I'm just going further and further into this pit. Man, this game has some really big problems. So, I just loop around the entire thing. I looped around the entire thing without knowing where it is. Okay, I'm not happy about this gameplay at all. It's just confusing. Super confusing, I might add. Okay, so there's lava to the left and to the right, so that means I have to go forward, I assume. Okay, over here maybe? Yeah, good luck trying to dig through this place when it destroys your stamina so fast. And more junk items, okay. I already entered the flame sanctum and 
Oh, come on, really? Game already did my job. There was no carpenter inside. Oh, oh, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> it's so poorly marked. Where is the escape from this place now? Hmm. I will probably die over here, but oh wow, it's it's not good. It doesn't let me climb onto the pillar because it thinks I'll do something silly. I will, of course, do. Yeah, it doesn't let me do that. It just slides me off the thing. The game has a lot of mechanics that are not even properly used, in my opinion. They're just teasing you the mechanics without actually letting you use them. Okay, the video is not that long, so I might as well go over to the flame sanctum if I'm here. Or I guess you have to go around it. Okay, let's try to go around this place. Wow, it's so slidey, come on! It's... One of those games, you either stop pressing any buttons or you don't do anything. Oh, it's just a rock with fireflies, okay. They said that they missed their mark to make the game scary, creepy, you know, wandering through the darkness alone. Spore monsters could appear anytime. No, they kind of replaced that with the frustration of, of the pathfinding being so weird. I killed one of these guys so fast. Oh, I guess they can fight the monsters? I didn't think about that. Okay. So the wolves are our allies, apparently. This game, please, don't make me go all over the place and not find it. At least give it to me. It's pitch dark. This is why most games don't make the night and day cycle so well, because they just have weird rules to them. Okay. Finally daytime, I can see what I'm doing. I assume I can see what I'm doing. Please open, please don't be locked, okay. We got the bone here and it's very weird, you're looting a single item like that, okay? Yeah, so we can go to that other one as well because it doesn't feel like it's too far away. Yeah, let's go there. As you see, I'm kind of having, I'm forced to make supplies for the video, so usually off camera, hey, I go and gather honey, I go and gather 
meat, I go and build stuff, I go and grind stuff. That's why games like this sometimes take a lot more, a lot longer to play than people think. Yeah, the pathfinding is abysmal in my opinion. It's so slidey, it's it driving me crazy sometimes. Why is it so slidey? You don't have to drop all the way down, you can stop at some point. As you can see, I cannot get a foothold, the bees are chasing me. You cannot directly target the bees in case you are wondering. And I'm not walking downwards, it's just the king pulling me downwards. Yeah, I don't know, it doesn't have a lot of freedom in my opinion. Backpack full. <sighs> we did get a broad and sharp broadsword. Uh, I guess it's a the one handed, finally a one handed weapon. I guess that's all or, or only upgrade. This game would be impossible. Oh, that's, that's a nice looking sword. What level is it? Or Oh, it's common. I guess I can put one upgrade into it for more damage. That's nice. Now, the problem with upgrading legendary weapons is, as you can see, the final levels don't seem to be that important. The first three levels will be the ones with extra damage to them. This is not so bad, it's a little slower, it feels like it. Oh yeah, it's it's much better in terms of damage. Backpack full, no problem. I'll just delete some of these one resource thing. It's a level seven bow. Don't care. This is a level seven hatchet. Don't care. Level seven. Maybe I will keep that one. Well, I wanted to come to the flame sanctum, but I guess we can also come over here. Sorry about the FPS, like I said, it, it's badly optimized, there's not much I can do about it. Oh, I forgot all about the puzzle aspect of the game. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you have to do it next time, because it might be a very annoying puzzle I have to do over here. So that will give us access to the second part of the map. Huh. Okay, don't tell me it's in the... F yeah, I really wish it would have some depth to it. It's either below, above, it should show on the map. Oh no, it's actually above, okay. Ancient Spire, Low Meadows. Yeah, I can see I'm at an Ancient Spire. Is it another lava river? Well, let's test it out. Oh yeah, it's another lava river. Sorry about that little bunny. I just uh, I didn't want to test it on myself for once. Interesting primitive things I'm seeing over here. Oh, 
Oh, it's on the high ground. Man, this game has some really is real big issues. Why? Why would you put that on the high ground so we cannot reach it just by walking to it? Yeah, sure, verticality is really good, but come on, don't force it on the player like that. This is suspicious. I guess they're working on a tunnel. Well, it does look like lava, but maybe just concentrated mycelium stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really seems like you have to pick the stuff that improves your tools. Even though I don't want to pick stuff like this, I'm forced to do it. It's probably a much better way to get around this place, but I'll just do the mining one. <laughs> just a normal dwarf thinking a hole. I'm out of mana, time to eat more honey. It would help so much if I was not constantly falling backwards and having to jump. Wow, the ooh, the movement in this game, it's something else. You have to experiment for yourself to understand it. Why are you falling down? It's not a water world tunnel. <laughs> oh, you're joking me? I fell through the tunnel on the other side. Really, game? Yeah, there's something really, really fishy with the game's movement. In the sense that there's no movement, there's no actual movement, it's just sliding off the side of the thing. Doesn't make any sense to me because you should be able to keep your footing at least for a little while. Yeah, this is... This is probably the very bad way to play the game and you need so many people to just do this every day and night. Otherwise you don't really make progress unless you find all of the things because just you know fighting in the same area doesn't really give you much. <coughs> Look at what I'm trying to do. I like is that paid off. Oh, there's supposed to be a bridge here. Yeah, I wish there was a way for you to remake the bridges or restore them. I almost died again. Why? Why don't they mark it on the map? It's man, this game doesn't okay. I'll just play it as it is. As you can see, the design decisions of this game are barely tolerable, tolerable in my opinion. People playing this game will, will be very frustrated just because there's nothing else to play. People will love this game and will say it's the greatest. But as you can see, I've, I'm seeing so many flaws with the game and I'm only playing for 2 hours every day sometimes. Well, we have to go and see what's inside the big house. Seems like this one is really special. Probably not. Everything looks special in this game, but nothing really is. Oh, the stamina, man, the stamina.
Wow, the bees follow you. Really, why is that a mechanic in this game? Oof. Yeah, I think today's developers think of memes as gameplay things, as gameplay mechanics, but that's just... Right, so I came over here to see more skeletons, great. I'm not even bothered going up there. Yeah, there's simply nothing to loot or nothing worthwhile looking at. Okay, waste of my time, waste of my time. Is that a cave? That looks like a wolf cave. I guess we can try. I don't think there's anything in there. Hey, there's nothing in there. We have reached the Flames one, yeah. Park. Okay, I, sh I shouldn't have played this long, but I was really curious what's on the other side. And yeah, apparently we can cheese it a little bit with the tunnels and such, but not much. Also, let's put down the two new survivors we found, and that will be all of the survivors we can find, right? I hope so. Not even WoW needs you to have so many bars sometimes. No, that's not what I wanted her to be. Wait, who's missing? Oh, the carpenter. He does oh he has the kiln which probably makes something kiln is for smelting ignorance it will be great she has just the seed bed take care hey Stay kind. our fire burns still fascinating isn't it hey. ah the wind howls. Oh, I guess they all have some requests for me right now, so hmm. Yeah. I guess I'll just have to farm for more equipment, to build more stuff in my base, and then we'll just have to go over there in that area. Yeah, next episode will be a lot more exciting. Especially because we'll get a lot of new resources. Oh Yeah, you who oh that's much farther away. Yeah, I guess I'll have to... I guess we'll do these locations over here and then we'll have to activate this one. Anyway, see you next time. Bye-bye.